Hot news Giuliani's missteps frustrate Trump but underscore the unique role he plays for the Prezid. First, Rudolph W. Giuliani said serious conversations about developing a Trump Tower project in Moscow occurred throughout the 2016 campaign, then he said they were hypothetical. He said they might have, he said he had listened to recordings proving President Trump was not guilty of instructing his former lawyer Michael Cohen to lie to Congress, then he said that he shouldn't have mentioned any tapes exist and that they were not pertinent. He said it would have been perfectly normal for Trump to talk with Cohen before he testified on Capitol Hill in 2017 about the Moscow project, then he said he was not sure they had spoken. Then he said they have, I have since checked the record. The answer is, these were among the dizzying array of statements and clarifications made in recent days by Giuliani, one of Trump's lawyers and the public face of the president's legal team handling the special counsel investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election. The former New York mayor has left White House aides, his fellow lawyers and people involved in the special counsel's probe puzzled over what, exactly, he was trying to say in defense of the president, you and why he was saying any of it at all. There is a strategy, Giuliani said. The strategy will, the strategy, it seems, was lost on his client. Trump this week asked Giuliani to scale back his media appearances after the recent interviews, White House aides said, and complained that his lawyer did not know all the facts of the case. The president also, the recent tensions between Trump and Giuliani highlight the unique role he plays for the president. Even though Trump has been frustrated with Giuliani's performance several times since he became his lawyer in April, he continues to get a longer leash than most of the president's aides and surrogates. That's because Giuliani, the first lawyer who represented Trump in the Russia probe, John Dowd, quit in March over a dispute on how to best handle responding to the investigation. For now, the two septuagenarian New Yorkers appear stuck with each other due to the chagrin of some of the president's allies. White House communications staffers have grown frustrated with Giuliani and privately mock some of his interviews, saying they spend more time responding to Giuliani's answers than Giuliani does preparing to give them a a person close to the president's legal team said the comments were seen as a bizarre, even by those involved in the case. A second person, most of what he says is not consistent with the actual facts, one of the people said a thinking there is a strategy would give Rudy too much credit. He doesn't know what people familiar with the legal team say Giuliani's public comments could hurt their standing with Mueller and prolong the pro view as the special counsel's office investigates his various statements and contradictions. From a legal standpoint and a public perception standpoint in terms of trying to help your client, nothing he is doing makes any sense whatsoever, said Ted Boutrous, a Gibson Dunn partner who regularly argues cases in front of the Supreme Court. A. Jay Sicullo, one of the president's lawyers, said Giuliani remains a valuable member of the legal team. The president does not Trump wants people out there pushing back, pushing back on everything, said a senior administration official who also spoke on the condition of anonymity if president sees much of the battle over Mueller's investigation as a public relations fight and is often unconcerned if Giuliani's answers are inaccurate you as long as they are delivered with confidence and don't sow confusion a his role is largely in the court of public opinion. Giuliani's goal, Trump has told advisors and other lawyers that Giuliani's combative posture toward Mueller's team and his refusal to answer questions from the special counsel's office was a welcome change from the early days of the investigation, when lawyers persuaded the president to cooperate you and convinced him that the inquiry would be over soon if he did a Giuliani has finished a report that he has shown the president questioning the integrity of the investigation, and Trump has been impressed at its length. The two men have come, many of the president's closest aides want nothing to do with the investigation, fearful of legal fees and subpoenas. For example, and the president's other lawyers Eugene Raskin and Siculo you are not regular TV personalities like Giuliani. Two people close, there is an outside, inside game happening, Dershowitz said.
Trump has told advisors that people increasingly see the probe his way, partially because of Giuliani, even though the latest Politico Morning Consult poll shows 57% of Americans believe Russia has compromising information on Trump. A. Giuliani is shrugging off the latest criticism of his performance, saying it's part of the job. He doesn't get upset with me, Giuliani said in an interview AAT least I don't think he does. My goal is to make Philip Rucker contributed to this report.